Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Battlefield 4 at E3 2013. I'm Alex Mendez, more commonly known as Golden Boy at TW. And this guy right here is Corey Dunn, more commonly known as Corey Dunn. How are you doing, my friend? You're killing me every uh, single time. Hey, well, you're Corey it's, Dunn. No, I, mean, I, I, for, I have a gamer tag. And what is it? It's Dunn. Okay. But it's so, not Corey Dunn. <laughs> I mean, you might it's as well Dunn. just name it. Corey, all right, we're done. Exactly. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm done. But anyway, so we're about to hop back into some more gameplay here with Battlefield 4, uh, getting your chance to kind of sink your teeth in visually. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so we're going to get into the action in just a little bit, so you'll see it hop into the screen. But And there you go, right there, right into the glorious tabletop uh, screen. I, I love this so much. But we had a chance to speak with Travis from Razer. All the players are using Razer keyboards and mice here. They're also using the Xbox One controller as well. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, uh, really cool to see just everyone uh, really digging the equipment that they're, that they're using. Uh -oh, headsets okay. provided let's, by Astro Let's take a well. look at this tank, this oh, yeah, first person view, or third view. person view right now. Just perfect example of the ballers. The you gotta push the button, buddy. That's, that's all you need to do. Just push so the let's see here. We've got uh, we've got the this tank right now in our picture in picture right now. He's been spotted on the other side. Oh, there he goes, trying to be able to take him down. Of course, what's happened? So now you see how the the bullets retract because it's on the other side or the green side. We also have a engineer right now trying to lay it on thick there with the repair tool. Oh. He's going to get taken down. Now back over here towards another player. That's going to be Alpha 29. As uh, that tank is going to bounce back. Uh, but one of the things, again, the way that the, that bullard uh, control works is uh, it's just a quick little button press and uh, it will continue to retract. Look at that, nice little uh, understanding of the environment already yeah. and just slides right onto the underneath, right underneath and uh, just trying to take a look and see if he can see the tank right there. Yep, and uh, you know if he comes, uh, you know, below the tank, and he has no uh, attachments on his on his gun. He actually just has the standard barrel, everything. So I wonder why he opted to not include any attachments on his uh, weapon there. But at the very least, you know, they are going to be able to get behind enemy lines, but they need to be careful because there is a sea of orange arrows right over there. They do find one player, 29, trying to go for the shots. He's going to have some support, and they take him down. So here you go, the push happening by Alpha Squad. All right. As we hop into the first person view now, take a look, he's just spraying away right now. Yeah, there's only going to be one player uh, around there, actually. He's, That's he's right there to his right. Saw it in his uh, field of view. Yeah, it looks like he's going to continue to press up here. Spots another one there. Yeah, they're, they're definitely going to run into this player right here. Fire iron sights back. He's going to spot another one. He can just pick up some kills, a lot of kills right now. Doesn't finish off that player. Takes down one. I think another player took out the other one. And he's going to get shot in his backside. Yeah, he gets cleaned up. When we look at the leaderboard, Alpha 29, who uh, was just taken out there. Actually, it's a uh, jump Let's go. Bra over. If we can, I, I'll explain with Bravo 9. Yeah, let's, go to, let's go to Bravo 9. That sounds he's like a seven great idea. 7-1 right now. And uh, for those of you at home that are kind of curious, he's going to be shooting at all of the blue icons at this point since he's on the Chinese team. So he's going to be shooting at the, the blue icons. He's been playing extremely well so far, sitting at 7 and 1 right now. Uh, he's got, looks, like, looks like his teammates have told him that he needs to be uh, attacking over here now towards the C flag. He is definitely listening to a T because he was going to try to start running through a wall. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well. So we... through the department store, back through the wall, right? <laughs> Just do I blow up a hole? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, uh, he wants to defend, uh, defend B. But uh, yeah, so he will continue to advance on forward here, and that was actually really funny. Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot the wall, probably uh, kick it down. That sounds like a good idea. Finding a player right in front of him, that is gonna be Alpha 13. He is gonna get nice taken out. Not, it was actually a nice pickup because he's oh, gonna prevent anyone. Ooh, look at this, he's not even aware. There's uh -oh. two. It's like they just broke off from each other. <laughs> oh man, this is not gonna be good. He managed to take out one. Can he get the second as well? Great. Great control, the recoil. Yeah. As he looks around the side here, he has that, and oh no! But you can see though, he's oh, at wow. 13 health. By the way, that was so close for comfort. Corey. I'm gonna go hide over here in the debris because uh, that even took out the opponent I was going after. Uh, but again, so this is what we've seen so far from Bravo Nine. He's, I think, he's probably sitting at nine and one right now. We can hop into a third-person view and actually take advantage of the spectator mode. And you can see he is sitting at nine and one. As you take a look at the bottom side of your screen, at the bottom portion of your screen, with that lower third, it says nine and one. 
Yeah, and you can see his attachments there on his M9. He has the Ghost Ring as well as the Laser Light Combo and a Suppressor to boot. So three, three attachments on his gun at this point in time. So really cool stuff, especially if, uh, you know, you guys are like, huh, well, he has all these attachments on his gun. Well, yeah, now you can uh, include attachments on your secondary. So that is the new stuff that is coming yes. for Battlefield 4. Yeah, Bravo 9 is a one-man army. He was able to not only hold down the, the B flag, but he also is able to retake it uh, after having uh, to combat with three players down here in Metro. He owns this area. It's him. This is Bravo 9 territory. But he's going to have to be careful because there could be some. And there's a tank uh -oh, right there. And there's everyone a tank. Abrams. What is he going to do? Chasing it down. Needs to be worried about his. Uh, see if he's going to be able to come back around. He spots one. Then he'll hop directly out of the tank. He actually can take this tank if he wants it. It's completely all his if he needs it. As he's going to go ahead and continue trying to run away, he's going to get taken down. I think it would have been smart if he just hopped directly into the tank. I agree with you on that one. That, you know, really could have helped him out, saved his skin a little bit. That player did not have C4 to stop him, so I don't see why not. But, it, it, you know, it, it is what it is. So, in looking here now, all a, just so many players from the Chinese team circling around C. Yeah, so look, if we kind of take a, an idea of what's happening right now. E is trying to be taken over by one member from the U.S. And over towards D, D is completely clear right now. Over there towards C, you've got a bunch of players from the Chinese trying to take control there. They've, they're going to start to work their way up through the elevator to get up on that top side is because that's where a couple of the members from the U.S. squad are. And uh, look like we might see a lot more action, though, happen towards B. Yeah, they have uh, air. They have uh, something in the sky. You know, a bird in the sky. The uh, the Chinese team has it as well as some amphibious vehicles. But we're going to be looking here at Alpha 20 because this is the area that Bravo 9 was holding down with such uh, with such vigor. And he seems to have abandoned his position. Perhaps no, uh, that was actually going to be Bravo 9 taking him out. So what do you know? In any case, though, so Alpha 28 said, on your screen. My house. Yeah, right. Just denied. Um, yeah, so Alpha Alpha 28 on your screen at this point in time. What is, well, let's go into third person and see what Alpha uh, 28 is using. He's using a muzzle brake, splinter, urban camo, as well as a vertical grip. And he has that CZ805. So uh, very, very cool uh, equipment there for Alpha 28. Now he's on the flank right now. Spots one's going to be coming around. He's actually uh, letting his teammate... Uh, Fight that one, fight the good fight. He's going to join with the, this tank as they're going to move across the bridge. Spotted one. And so one of the things for those that don't really play, uh, have never played Battlefield, haven't got the chance, um, spotting is a huge component uh, in the strategy for Battlefield in, yeah. in all series. Uh, so right now, it's one of the things you want to do. If you can't make a shot and you spot someone across the map, go ahead and uh, state that you spotted someone. Over on the Bravo side, again, they're gonna, he's going to be shooting out at some blue players. Um, as we kind of scan around, Alpha 04 is at 9 and 1. Let's go back to our friend Bravo 9. I want to see what's up with, with Bravo 9. That's the, you know, he obviously has been. Oh, he's got a good little placement right now. It uh, looks like a, a possibly a helicopter has spotted him. He is always in trouble, I Drops, swear. Dropping both a health pack and a health bag. Lugging that grenade across might be able to pick off one or two players there, but there's no one on C right now. So at the very least, he's able to. Uh, to These are his teammates for those that uh, are kind of wondering why he's not shooting at the orange. Exactly. And, uh, you know, of course, we have to we always want to make sure that you guys are aware of that because, you know, Battlefield players are used to seeing a specific thing. And, uh, you know, it makes a complete sense. And here goes Bravo 9, like the baller he is, jumping off of a building, parachuting. Uh, Might make it I on the roof. Hey, better watch your, your boundaries. You're about to cross. Uh-oh, turn around. Oh, it's, no. uh, it's counting down. And he's going to be able to stay alive. And he just kind of circles around into a nice little position. Now he's going to try to see if he can regroup with his teammates here. Uh, that's a, one of his uh, squad members there. Oh, man, but look at this here. Tank. Uh oh and tank. And he's down. Yeah, Bravo 9 can't even fight a tank. So, you know, you got to give him credit, but it wasn't enough. And here goes that Type 99 MBT there, the Chinese tank for uh, the, the Bravo squad. 
Going up against the two M1 Abrams that are going to be across the bridge here. And oh uh -oh. no, he's going to have to backpedal on this one. I don't know if this is going to look good. He does manage to nail a shot on him. He is going to lose some armor on that one. About eight of 21 points. And he's going to get hit some more. This is certainly not looking good as he's going to have to double back here inside of the territory. But they are going to continue to apply the pressure. And that is going to do it here. 19 armor, two tanks in front of him. I think this is going to be curtains here for Bravo 7. He's staying alive though, like the Bee Gees. Don't know how he's doing it, but there you go. He is finally taken out. Now he could have exited at some point, because um, I believe that uh, typically you're exiting through the backside. Oh, oh Roadkill no. <laughs> jumps over the barrier, and you're probably going, well, all I see is an overview, but if you look over on your left side, there's a picture in picture, and uh, man, that, that vehicle hilarious. just jumping, trying to jump barriers and lands right on top of uh, the player that we're uh, getting his point of view from. Let's actually see that free cam, free cam. Go ahead and click on that free cam there, spectator man. There you go. All right. So the building, by the way, has not crashed just yet. It is still very much up. And uh, yeah, this is uh, quite the angle that we're getting here as we kind of fly around this map and see where, where the action is heading. There's a bunch of Chinese players here that are walking the sidewalk casually, making their way to work, and work is murder. Right, that sounded good? No? A little dark? Okay, I'm sorry about that. Work is work is destruction and war. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what There's it is. There's an objective involved, <laughs> and that is their job. <laughs> And, uh, you know, which I think is actually pretty funny that the skyscraper is not crashed down just yet. I guess these players are now kind of thinking better. If we can, better. let's take a look at some of the key points of where these pillars are down at the base. So you see the see how big of a building this is. And Never it mind. actually is falling. <laughs> and there you see one player. Oh, I'm going to parachute into it. No, I'm not going to do that. Stay alive. Oh, man. Uh, we'll look at all the people that are down there in the front, though. I don't see your life lasting too much longer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a ball, building and falling on top of you. And you're dead. Oh, oh and there, there you goes. Go. <laughs> and there's a big old wave that's going to push out to the battleships out there. Yep, oh, man. Uh, that would have been a good surf. Yeah, that uh, would have been a good surf. I agree with you It'd on that It would be fun one. to be in a jet ski and just kind of push you along. Yeah. <laughs> push you that out of bounds. Cool. I'd be okay with that. That would be really cool. Uh, actually, I wouldn't have an issue with that by any means. You know, even if they put like battlefield surfboards, I think I'll be okay with that as well. Battlefield surfboards, battlefield with, with like some M16 just like strapped. To the Everybody <laughs> has a boogie board. Everyone has a boogie board of death. <laughs> I don't see why not. Oh man, that'd be so cool. But there you can see the destruction, and and also as we said many times before, the the visibility is now uh, different here. It it is uh, much dustier, which is kind of you know kind Let's of troublesome for the here. yeah kind of troublesome for pilots. But uh, uh, fourteen and four is alpha zero four. Alpha zero four. Alpha right. zero four is uh, fourteen and four. So he's playing extremely well. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what he is doing. We'll go ahead and jump on board with him uh, after uh, Bravo 06 here, or uh, Bravo 05, excuse me, has his fun. And, and remember, guys, he's not going to be shooting after the red people, only blue. And uh, yeah, hey, but speaking there's of blue, a there's a tank right in front of him. Don't want to shoot that guy. All right, laying down some gunfire there. He's going to get taken out. Let's go ahead and hold the scoreboard. There's Alpha 04 at 15 and 4. Alpha, Alpha zero 04, zero. third player on the, from the top on the Alpha. There we go. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so what is he doing so right? He is playing infantry. Uh, lots of players surrounding him, though. Him and his teammates are trying to stay alive. And look at this, another elevator. Yep, there's not, not only just inside the skyscraper, there's elevators in other buildings as well. And uh, you're finding out, we're seeing some, again, pre-alpha stages uh, where the uh, ammo boxes were falling. Uh, but here we are. So they're going to get up on the high ground. So you don't have to parachute everywhere. That's I think right. everybody's sitting there thinking, man, I remember when. Think about this. There's, I, I, there's going to be a point in time whenever people are going to be so deep into Battlefield 4. I remember whenever I have to par parachute up on top of those buildings. Now you just take the elevator. There was a time where, you know. Oh, God. What are we doing with our lives right now? We're just, we're, we're, we're oh, not old. Oh, this is going to be sick. No, oh, pop it. Oh. Nice. Pop it. That's how you do that. No, that is not how you do that. Yeah, by that's any how means. you do that. Stay alive. Don't. He's don't, still alive. Don't play with. Don't play with. Uh, with, with. With that. That is. That's he, scary. He may have. He may have world spawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're going to see some tanks actually making their way across the sea bridge right now. But a helicopter is going to be on the pro right behind them. 
And uh, there is a, also a tank by D as well. Let's go ahead and see what's up with this helicopter as so we dive into the third person perspective. Or first person, either or. They're all good. They're all good, baby. All good. And uh, yeah, just good, con uh, I was going to say good control until he hit the ground, but. Yeah, I, I usually wait about 10 seconds to see if they're a good pilot or not. Yeah. Okay, good call. I will not, uh, I will not do that from now on. Lots of Maybe it was like evasive team. maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Yep, avoid your teammates. No! Hit the ground, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> Skip like a rock. <laughs> oh, man, and the helicopter is going to be dangling over, but he is 14, 10. He's done. Jump out, man. Jump out, no, bro. No, land it. Repair yourself. All he has to do is just jump out. That would be the most effective thing to do. Nice. Pod. Okay, great control. You called it early, so he did a good job. And he's staying alive here. Oh, man. This is insane. And somehow he is still alive. He is being repaired little by little. Is he going to get taken oh, off? Oh, no, been, that's not going to work. Yeah, we've been following that guy for a while there. It was, hey, it was inevitable. He fought it, though. He did. He was committed to staying alive. He certainly did. Score right now, 586 in favor of the CN squad versus the U.S. squad, 309. And uh, looking here at Alpha 31, take him out. You got him. That's one, one, in, the, uh, one in the chamber there. Good stuff. And uh, now, or one and one right there to the right side. Yeah, that's right. Oh, look out! Close. Whoa. Oh, he gets taken out. That's in time for a counterattack. Alpha 08. All right. Look so at the activity by B, Corey. So we got a tomahawk coming in over there towards the sea. Uh, that's not going to be in time. So Alpha, this is Alpha 29, who's sitting at 12 and one. There at least has 12 so many. kills. He may have. More deaths than that. So many CN players are going to be surrounding them here. This is, and there's a tank too, uh, which is underground. Go ahead, fall in. Let's go ahead and do some work now. Coming around, he's going all out with the pistol and misses oh. the majority of his shots. So we're going to have a second look at this as we're back over here now with Alpha 11. There is a tank underground. All right. And so, he goes down as well. Yeah, he gets dropped. Uh, there will be Alpha uh -oh. 12 finding one right in front of him, trying to. Everyone's out of up. ammo. Need some support. That's right. Yeah, you have to have a well balance of classes here. 30 is going to be the last one left alive in his squad as he is off to spawn. Should be picking up his teammates at the very least. And you can see those. They're going to be pushing up through this main street by AB and advancing their way over to B. Lots of tank control for uh, Alpha, but there is also two tanks for the CN squad as well. Yeah, again, this is the pre alpha version of Battlefield 4. And so we're seeing right now they're going to start to attack over here towards a residential area. Here's some gun, uh, gun, wow, some footsteps heading over there towards a the ramp. Spots two, they're up on top. Can they be able to finish things off? Lofting a grenade over the top, a little bit of a over toss <laughs> as wrapping in, going straight for, and they kill each other uh, right there at that last point. They both go to a bloop. Yeah, that's right. There's a straight collapse here, but there are going to be three players, and they know that this flag is going to be taken here by the U.S. soldiers. So how are they going to respond is the question. And uh, lots of, uh, I'm hoping that they uh, push us here, but it seems to be they're more focused on what's going on in the street in front of them, which if we take a left here, I, I'm curious what is what is going on on the other side of the street. Are you going to get away from the residential area? All right, let's go and do it. Let's do it. Let's see what's up with the CN guys. Tanks now moving in here. Oh, they're coming for No, we're, we need to go back to, to A. That's where the action's happening. We're going to start chasing for those kills. Yeah, that's right. Find uh See, look at the seeds. You got, you got your good uh, sense of blue right Ooh. there. And uh, you got some uh, helicopter work that's happening. He's going to try to no. wall ride. It turns out it's not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, wall riding with a helicopter, <laughs> never, never a good idea. It's just never. All right, and uh, Alpha 30 is going to get picked off. So now the CN guys are going to reclaim this flag once again as they have control. But uh, uh, got one lone gunman uh, who's uh, trying one, to get on by. He spots one. One man. will spray him down. One, one desire. Man. One opportunity. Just sees everything every. Oh, no, he has another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, oh, he is going to get picked uh -oh, off. Oh, it's a battle between these two. Look out for your flank. He's coming on his backside, oh. and just like that, one for one, that's how you play a competitive match, is you go one for one. That's your main objective. If you get taken out, at least your teammate is able to answer the call. Yep, and one player from the Alpha Squad is going to push his way upstairs here. No one else in the area, so he might be able to flip this flag and get the control. Let's see what's going on with the score. Let's hop into tabletop 
and see what's going on here. It is going to be 195 to 466. The CN are dominating this game. They are flipping a lot of the flags here, and this is not looking good for the U.S. squad. All right, right now it looks like the Chinese are trying to take over the C flag point right now. B flag point is also being taken uh, there by the tank. And uh, so far, I mean, it's just been, uh, they're just trying to flip the script now and trying to take over all of these points all at once. But I think it's going to be a good point to talk about is what happens at C. Let's go and hop on board right now at C point. There's yeah. one other member who's out there on a jet ski just waiting or probably trying to figure out how to hop off. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, Alpha 20 lingering by C. Not there's one. Like I said, there's actually two players. Or one now because that player ended up uh, getting taken out on that one. And he might end up getting flanked here if he's not careful. He tries to go for the repair. That player clearly sees him. He might get hit, and he uh -oh, does. Oh, dog tags. Can he counter? No. no. He is done. That is the end of that one. So uh, now the the A flag is flipping. Um, as Alpha 14 is going to go and support his teammate here, they're going to try and get control of the residential area. But the Tomahawk is going to be coming down, Corey. If they don't flip it in time, they don't know that the Tomahawk is landing as uh -oh. well. Oh, let's go ahead and get the point of view here as it's going to be raining in. Oh, Three, no. two, one, falls in. And there goes one. And one other, there's another player that goes down. That clears out a good chunk of the area. Again, what? tell me, break it down for me. What exactly happened from beginning to end? Well, I mean, pretty much, uh, you know, that Tomahawk, they knew that it was coming down on that uh, on A, and they had to move around. They heard it, they knew it, and, and I really do like it, but they flipped it. Never mind. But but how did they get uh, the how did they get the Tomahawk in the first place? Oh, well, you are, uh, you know, actually, good point there, Corey. So basically, whenever you get control of a flag, certain flags give you certain perks, gives the commander certain perks. And in that instance there, when you hold down B, C, as well as uh, D, you also get uh, some some UAV, you get the Tomahawk, as well as the gunship when you hold down C. So lots of uh, perks there for the commander. And that's actually one of my favorite things about commander and how players can affect that uh, particular game mode. All right, so now we're back over here, 114 to 425. Uh, the Chinese side, the Bravo team so far has in great control right now. This is definitely, this map is so even. Uh, it's perfect. I mean, it's 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 the way that you want things to be. The only the only things that I think, uh, and honestly, this is diving down deep, is just how close um, the A uh, the A flag is to the U.S. spawn and the E flag is to um, the E flag is to the Chinese spawn. And the reason being is because you have tanks and uh, different types of vehicles that are so close to those spawns, those those areas. Uh, you can get to them rather quickly. The, the, there is a big plus, though, um, com in comparison to some of the old maps that we used to see, all of these buildings that uh, that are kind of in the way. So it takes a little bit longer. I've kind of learned that in Los Angeles here at E3. You know, I was like, man, it takes, you know, it's 10 miles, but it takes 30 minutes to get there. Well, I guess that's probably the same type of concept right here. Yeah, right. <laughs> It's uh, short yet far, right? Yeah, I exactly. Guess. Short yet far. Yeah, I guess the, the, the thing to bring up here. And, uh, and looking at some of the gameplay, Alpha 23 and that Viper is going to be circling around this bridge, trying to get uh, you know some angles uh, as best as he can, and knowing that there's going to be a tank at the bottom. I wonder if he is going to go he and try He doesn't need to get him. too low. Yeah, he has to be careful about that. Well, what reason? Oh, oh man. That's unfortunate. Man. <laughs> Every time I see a helicopter explode, I'm just like, well, you know, that's unfortunate. That. <laughs> It, 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 it's it's sad. like, it, well, the reason why I said he can't get too low is because you don't want to get into the angle. Oh, we're about to see it. We're about to see another helicopter just. A helicopter that wanted a second life as a truck. Something <laughs> like that. You know, that's what we've been seeing here today in this game. Uh, but Alpha 24 having to dive back here, double back and support his teammates that are trying to rally the troops forward to the A site. But that is going to do it for that game. Not uh, not able to to overcome as that the CN squad they dominate that game. I really really like what I saw from both uh, from both teams, but got to tip my hat to CN. Yeah, so that's some great gameplay that we just had the chance to see there for Battlefield 4. But let's see what's going on outside of our little bubble. Uh, let's go ahead and sit, uh, take a look at what Lisa has been able to kind of get us updated on.